Hey everybody, Honey. And Mr. Honey. Out here today, guys, and, and Savvy, Savvy, Savvy just stands in front of the tire whenever we're driving. I don't understand what her problem is. But guys, anyway, the point of today's video is we are bringing our cows home, guys. It is officially time. They have cleared out an entire pasture over here at LE's. Uh, Bree's horses are coming up the lane and Moo is absolutely terrified. He's hollering for help. And so uh, <laughs> we are going to get our cows and bring them back home. Littlefoot, get out of the way. Excuse me, sweet girl. Excuse me, sweet girl. You're not coming. Excuse me, baby. Keep going. Keep going, sweet girl. Keep going, sweet girl. We got some cows that want to come. Glenjamin, Glenwood, why did you just kick that? Okay, honey, you ready? Got his foot stuck. Yeah, that would have been bad. We're coming, y'all. Let's go home. All right, y'all. So before we can get the cows through here, we have got to get all of this wire stuff that we have rigged up over here. We just got to Moo, don't push it over, Moo. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, guys. He's just going to push it over himself. I guarantee you that he gets impatient and he just... Uh-oh. Hold on, Moo. Hold on, Moo. Okay, honey, you ready? Yeah, where am I going? We're going to take them just straight straight up the gate. To the big pasture? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're going home, home. They're out of here. You guys ready? You ready, honey? Yeah. Here they come. Here they come. Come on. Come on, where are the rest of you? We got one, Moo. Annabelle, Sully, Oreo, there's four. We should have seven, y'all. We should have seven. So we're missing Myra, Fern, and Molly. Come on, babies. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on. Great, y'all. Great. They're not coming. <laughs> Honey got stuck. Honey got stuck over here. Oh, good, y'all. She's got it. She's got it, and the, the three small babies are coming, too. The, well, I call them the small babies. I mean, I guess Sully's the actual small baby, but... Uh-oh. Get out of here, Glenn. Go on, Glenn. Okay, honey, you going to get them? I'll keep on getting these little these little babies. Come on. Go, Glenn. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Be Ball goat just now jumped over that little goat over there. Go on, Moo. Go on. Go on, don't follow me. Follow the side by side. Go on. Good babies. Good babies. Good babies. Good babies. You guys are home. You guys are officially home. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Woo. You know what, guys? On second thought, we might should have left them in this pasture. The grass is so tall, we can barely see Glenwood anymore. Honey! Honey, just turn it off. There's a change of plans, you guys. We're just going to leave the gate open. We'll just leave this middle gate open. We'll just let the cows and Littlefoot and Glenwood go wherever they want. We left the goats and with my dad's goats for right now. Oh, yep. See, Littlefoot wants to. Littlefoot's like, okay, I'll go out there. No problem. But I think we should just leave this middle gate open here. And uh, we'll let the cows come up here where there's fresh water. We did check the water. The water's all good. But we'll let the cows come up here where there's fresh water. And uh, if I do see a chance where they're all in there again, I'll shut this gate back, y'all. And uh, we will keep everybody in there until they can mow down that grass. That should only take a day or two. And then we'll let everybody back out into this pasture. All right, honey, let's drive to the back and feed these, these big monsters. Let's drive. Well, you couldn't see me over this wall here or hear me. I said, let's drive to the back and feed these monsters. Okay. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> it was gonna crush me in there. Okay, pause. Okay, very slowly. Very slowly. Yeah, that's good. Keep going. I'm sorry, there's water over there. Okay, that's good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Woo wee. We got them, honey. They're all fed. Glenwood's gonna come out here and get him some cubes too. Sheesh. Okay, well, we got all the cows back home, guys. Everybody knew exactly where to go. Everybody was excited. Even Littlefoot. Yes, there's the back of Littlefoot. 
Even Littlefoot and Glenwood wanted to come out to the big pasture. Well, like I said, we are going to leave the middle gate open so everybody can come back and forth and uh, hopefully get all the grass mowed down. How many sticks of celery can we stack on Sully's little horns? Hold on, Sully. Sully, you ruined the whole game. Sheesh. Hey, what about you, Oreo? <laughs> yes. There's one. There's two. No. Whoa, Oreo. <laughs> with that Sully is out here eating cubes y'all Sully is eating cubes he has graduated to cubes Sully let me come love you let me Sully why'd you spit out your cube come here little girl come here sweet girl come here sweet girl sweet boy good sweet boy that's a good sweet boy good boy Sully that's a good boy, Sully. Is he going to take it? <laughs> uh, Sully, you're getting squashed. Get out of there, Sully. As far as our fence, the damages are not too extensive. I mean, we got this H brace right up here that you can kind of see is kind of pushed back and leaning. That's not a big deal to push up and straighten up. Uh, just as soon as I can get out here with a tractor. I would love to do that. And then coming down the fence, guys, we just got a couple sticks. and Yeah, there's just a couple, just a couple little sticks and little limbs and stuff like that. But nothing that's going to jeopardize our cows getting out over here, y'all. All right, y'all, we have had a good homecoming. And we got some happy cows. We got some good cows, y'all. Some cows that behave. And uh, cute, Sully. And cows that know exactly where home is, but also cows that don't mind going over and doing some favors, mowing down some other pastures. That's all for this one. Bye, guys. Have a great day. You are you ready to come back, little foot? Glenn, y'all want to go home? Hey, everybody. Shirtless Jake here. Guys, I know that every single one of you at some point in your life has heard of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You might even have heard of Dwayne Paper Johnson or Dwayne Scissors Johnson. Well, have any of you ever heard of Dwayne Sheetrock Johnson? Today, that's me, guys. Today, I am Dwayne Sheetrock Johnson. We're going to be getting sheetrock hung all in our living room. Hopefully, hopefully we can complete the whole living room. Guys, we have just been in go mode, just straight go, go, go mode. I'm going to walk in the house now, flip the camera around and show you all the progress we've made. I'm sorry, guys. We have not videoed any of this. We have just been working. And uh, sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to put the camera down and just get to work and sometimes it pays off y'all let me show you where we're at so walking in here the first thing you have is the most beautiful part of the whole house and then behind honey would be the floor so guys the second most beautiful part of this house so far is this floor guys we got the entire living room complete and this time guys we didn't stop at the doorway and put a like a threshold across the doorway you see what we did we very carefully and very strategically cut out around the door and uh this cuts really good this cut um i don't know i don't know it's like we tried to tried to fit a square peg in a circle hole or something i don't know what was going on on this cut here but anyway we just kept it running straight into the bedroom obviously some parts are messed up where uh we hadn't got to continue on with our floor but everything is coming together guys we're gonna hang one piece of sheetrock together and then I have got to get back to just go mode, y'all. So the first thing we got to do is know how wide to cut our sheetrock. And I happen to know it's around 23, so 23 and a quarter inches there. We'll just keep on measuring, just kind of spot check down the wall. Uh, 23 and a half there. So what I'm going to do, guys, is actually cut this at about 23 inches and leave myself about half of an inch of play in this wall. And then don't forget, we gotta come over here, we gotta cut out for this plug because our sheets of sheetrock are eight foot long and this plug falls within that. So that's always fun too.
Honey, help me measure from the edge of the wall down to this plug. And then I measured from the floor up to the plug and then measured the plug itself. And uh, we've done our best to project this plug measurement directly down onto this piece of drywall, y'all. So we're gonna take our box cutter now. We're gonna get this trimmed out, it's just like carving a pumpkin. We're gonna trim this out and hopefully it fits perfectly all the way down the wall and over the plug and on a stud over here. Now for my favorite part, the screwing. Got it. And there you have it, a finished piece of sheetrock notched out for the outlet here. I got it, I messed it up a little bit there on the top, but that's not anything a cover will not cover. That's why they're called a cover. But anyway, guys, don't ask me to make a video on taping and floating and doing mud and all that stuff because I'm not going to do it because I'm not good at it. Now on to the most important part of every project, the cleanup. That's all for this one. Bye, guys. Have a great day.